Hey guys, how did your drawings of your cars turn out? I bet they are splendid. You guys are so creative. I bet you had some wonderful ideas. So, I wanted to share a book with you about building a car. If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. I wonder what he would add to a car. Hmm. Jack from the back seat said to his dad, this car's okay, this car's not bad, but it's just a car, nothing great, nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. Ooh. I'll work through the night to create a design, constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets and look at old planes, contemplate buses and zeppelins and trains. To make it as smooth and as sleek as an eel, I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. So sit back, relax, stay right where you are. It's time to reveal my spectacular car. Oh, that's a lot of different modes of transportation he's going to try and fit into his car. <gasps> You'll see that I've added a lot of neat things. Flush fender skirts and retractable wings. Three headlights up front, four taillights in back, plus two giant fins like our old Cadillac. My brand new design will be curvy and round, with special jet engines that don't make a sound. I'll paint it bright colors with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. There's the dome. Wow, and it looks so shiny, doesn't it? I'll build a safe car, just as safe as I can, cause safety is job number one in my plan. Good thinking. It may look like steel, from afar you can't tell, but it's actually made of a polymer gel. A space age concoction that I just invented, so in a collision, my car won't get dented. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit, and folks will be fine in the seats where they sit. Wow. He thought of everything, didn't he? Look at how it kind of stretches. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. I've put in a couch, it's comfy and wide. Plus a fireplace, fish tank, and here's something cool. The floor can slide open and look, there's a pool. Oh, <laughs> this is a very fancy car. Mm. Never seen a car with a swimming pool in it. Now step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked Instant Snack Bar. Oh. Say you were hungry and wanted a treat. Just press it and instantly good things to eat appear in a flash anything that you please from hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. Woo! I think I would pick that watermelon. What would you guys pick? Maybe the milkshake, huh? Mm, it all looks so yummy. After you've eaten, you might like a nap. And Robert the robot makes napping a snap. I've built him right into the back of the chair. He's out of the way. You won't know that he's there. But when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Robert the robot will take the controls and he's guaranteed not to hit telephone poles. Ah. So if you get sleepy while you're driving, Robert will come drive for you. That is very convenient. That'd be nice for road trips when there's a very long drive. I see you're impressed with all that's inside. So start up the motor. Let's go for a ride. A car that smells good? Now that's something new. But if I built a car, that's just what I'd do. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline. Burnt gasoline doesn't smell very good, does it? And change it to something more pleasing to noses, like blueberry muffins or freshly picked roses. Oh, everybody's smelling the air. Mmm. Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. My car can do everything that very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. <gasps> Jacob taught me that that's a kind of a boat. This can go on the water. 
We're skimming the waves and we're having a ball, but wait, hold your noses, cause that isn't all. Boating is fine till we get the urge to dive underwater. Then just hit submerge. Robert will drive as we burble out. We can see catfish and we can see trout. We might even spy the shy stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. So it's like a submarine, isn't it? Oh, I see turtle too. Hmm. Last but not least, the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small. Push it and then in the wink of an eye, the car will take off. We'll be up in the sky. <gasps> is it a rocket or is it like an airplane? Oh. This lady looks awfully surprised. We'll fly over land, we'll fly overseas to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda, Belize, or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly us all down to the Florida Keys. Oh, that would be an excellent, convenient car to have. My car will be cool, my car will be keen, my car will be one big fantastic machine. The toast of the town, the cream of the crop, the bell of the ball and the tip of the top. My car will be famous from here to Peru. If I built a car, that's just what I would do. Do you know who this little boy reminds me of? A long time ago, we read a book about a little girl named Rosie Revere, and she wanted to be what's called an engineer. And an engineer is somebody who sees a problem and they are really creative and they find a way to fix it. So he had all kinds of ideas about how to improve upon his car. I wonder if he's going to be an engineer when he grows up. What a creative little boy. Looking back now at the drawing that you made the other day of your car, what changes would you make? Would you make yours fly? Would you make yours make snacks for you? Would you have a robot? What kinds of things can you add, I wonder? I'll talk to you guys soon.